hey, how's it going? My name's Nat. Coming up on Newsbreak. Lockdown protests. The Wiggles double in size. And one very expensive Dorito. But before we get into that, why don't you hit subscribe? Police have arrested hundreds of anti-lockdown protesters in Melbourne and Sydney. They took to the streets on Saturday calling for COVID lockdowns to end. Liv explains what's going on. It's pretty much exactly what authorities don't want to happen. Thousands of people gathered together, most without masks and not socially distancing. In Melbourne, about 4,000 people gathered on Saturday and things got pretty violent. It was probably one of the most violent protests we've seen in nearly 20 years. That is astonishing. In Sydney, around 250 demonstrators were outnumbered by more than a thousand police officers. Hundreds of people were arrested and fined for breaking the rules. Protesters say they want an end to lockdowns and restrictions, but health experts think they're actually having the opposite effect. This has never been about stopping free speech. This has been about stopping the spread of the virus. New South Wales recorded 818 new cases today and Victoria recorded 71. Now there are worries those numbers could jump even higher, which means those lockdowns and restrictions could last even longer. The Wiggles have doubled in size. The group's just announced four new members. Fruit Salad TV. They'll appear in a new YouTube series, Fruit Salad TV. The four members, one for each Wiggle colour, includes three women. To Sai, the second Red Wiggle is the youngest, at just 15. There's also Evie, John and Kelly. Elon Musk has announced that Tesla is working on a new humanoid robot. It'll be called Tesla Bot and they'll probably have a prototype by 2022. The goal? To get rid of dangerous, repetitive and boring tasks that us humans are often stuck doing. That's not it, by the way. That's a person dancing in a Tesla Bot-themed suit. Yeah. All right, it's time for sport. Here's Kale. Go on, Kale. Yep. It's time for the Barty Celebration. It's another title for Ash Barty. The Aussie world number one has won her fifth tournament of the year, taking home the chocolates in the Cincinnati Masters. Barty played a pretty perfect tournament, not dropping a set all week. So she's in good form for the upcoming US Open. It's been a wild final round of the AFL. Unbelievable! First off, Port kicked the last three goals to win a Friday night thriller against the Bulldogs. And that will do! Then the Hawks and the Tigers drew. Off the ground, it's a goal! It's a goal! You're not going to believe this! It's a goal! Then Geelong and Melbourne came down to the very last kick. This after the siren goal from Captain Max Gorn gave Melbourne their first minor premiership since 1964. And Melbourne, a minor premier. Aussie golfer Minji Lee has fallen just short of a huge comeback. She came into the final round of the British Open five shots behind the leader. But after seven birdies, she moved into the lead. Unfortunately, she couldn't quite hold on for the win, with Swedish golfer Anna Nordquist eventually taking home the trophy. It's 6pm. The table is set, the guests aren't here, and I'm pretty hungry. This is food you can't eat. A little while back, we told you about this super rare corn chip. 13-year-old Riley from Queensland resisted the urge to eat it and put it up for auction on eBay, where bidding reached 100k. But the listing was taken down. Oh. Now Doritos has bought the puffy chip from Riley for 20,000 big ones, saying they were impressed with her entrepreneurial spirit. This is a 360 kilo sculpture made out of butter. It took two artists 10 days to make. It's the 53rd year there's been a butter sculpture at the New York State Fair, and when it's all over, it'll be fed to a methane digester to be turned into renewable energy. Wait, what? And finally, don't eat these sprinkles. They're made out of plastic, in case that wasn't obvious. They're a main attraction at this brand new museum of ice cream in Singapore, where guests can enjoy free-flowing ice cream and interactive exhibits. 
Well, that's all the news we've got for you today. In the meantime, don't forget, you can always hit subscribe, unless the button's disappeared, which it probably hasn't. We'll see you tomorrow.